Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on the Spleef Mini game. So this is requested by a subscriber and it is free to download off Spigot. So first of all, let's go ahead and take out our axe and we are going to want to select the arena. So um, select the top left hand corner and we're going to dig down right to the bottom and right click that and then fill in the blocks. So this will enable it to um, save and regenerate and then do TSM create and the name of the arena. Then we need to um, set various spawn points so we need to do set warp the arena name and then obviously the lobby, the main lobby which I'm going to set in the same place for simplicity and the spawn point of the players uh, which is going to be in the middle of our arena like that. Then we need to set the game type, so there is multiple, so if you do TSM set game type, uh, the arena YT and then either Spleef, Bow Spleef, Spleg or Pete Spleef. So we're going to go with normal Spleef and uh, that is it. So right click your sign on the wall, TSM in brackets on the top line, join on the second line and obviously the arena name on the third line. Hit OK. and. Um, then we can actually join the game. So if I get my other account to join, uh, it should say one, and then we have joined the game. So um, now that at least two players have joined, uh, the game should start in about 30 seconds. There we go. So I'm going to cut to the game um, actually starting. So the game is about to start, and as you can see, there is a five second grace period where we don't have any shovels. Um, so that gives your players time to run away from the spawn point and then you get obviously uh, a spleef shovel and uh, then you can obviously play spleef as you uh, as you would and then uh, whoever is <coughs> left alive longest will uh, obviously win win the game so that is how you do that you can obviously rejoin and play it some more you can create uh, better arenas with more levels and as you can see, it has completely regenerated. So uh, there is a config file, uh, which we're going to go into now. It's it's quite short, really. There's not much to configure in there. Um, so let's go there now. So here we are in the TSM folder. And as you can see, there are two files. The first one is uh, the arena.yml. You don't need to worry about that. And the second one is the property. So let's go ahead and open this up. And as you can see, there is a few things we can edit such as the messages, which is quite cool. Um, the save inventory, so if you do use this for a survival survey, obviously people don't want to lose their diamonds and their armor and their gear, so I'd set that to true, um, so it actually saves it. And then um, <clears throat> we can enable a title, which is pretty cool, and change the fade in, fade out, and duration, so that would be one second, one second, and three seconds. Down here, you can allow various different commands, um, such as for such, uh, TSM would be a good one. Um, you can add power-ups as well, which is pretty cool if you have the API. And here you can obviously add um, various commands to act as a re reward, such as eco give uh, player. Let's just copy this. And we are going to give them um, maybe a hundred or something like that. You should probably delete the hashtag um, because it doesn't read it if there's a hashtag there. So um, that should work like that. And uh, that is basically everything. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.